and then we're gonna move on to our finisher here. This month we're gonna have three exercises that we're working. Um, so again, keeping it simple, a lot of stuff that you are familiar with, the goal is to do it very well. So we have our push-ups, five to 10 reps. Again, push-ups and chin-ups, the two exercises that um, I find to be, again, they can be the most challenging because they require that body weight strength. You have to have enough strength to push your body weight around, but they also are two exercises that you are able to do anywhere. If anybody ever said, hey, can you do a chin up? You grab a bar and you can do it. If somebody said, hey, can you do a 500 pound squat? You need a bunch of weight to do that, right? These are exercises that show that you have um, not only the ability, but the desire to do them well. You have to want to do these things well to get the most out of them. But five to 10 solid reps. Again, anyway, if you need to use the bar and have an elevate, have your chest elevated, if you can do them flat on the floor, if you need to make them tougher, you put your feet on the box, you put a weight vest on, whatever you can do to challenge yourself, you wanna be able to get at least five in. If you can work up to 10, that's great. If you can do eight, nine, or 10, that's also a sign that you could challenge yourself a little bit more with some heavier or heavier variation or more challenging variation, and then just keep, you know, get back down to that five to six. Then you keep working that variation long enough, that's gonna become a six to seven rep weight, a seven to eight rep weight, and eight to 10 rep weight, and that's how we see progress with those. So don't be afraid of making those tough. Let the coach help you if you have any questions. Again, push-ups, it's nice to say, hey coach, can you watch my push-ups? And maybe we can offer some advice there as well. The second exercise is our echo bike. Um, I know, everybody's favorite. It's, first of all, it's only five calories. And also it's so effective that it's like, why wouldn't we use this? For the amount of time you put in and the result you get from it, which is really challenging, that power production, that ATP and creatine energy system that we use, also, because the residual effect there is you walk away with that heart rate up, we're gonna be burning some more calories even after we're done with that exercise. So it's not about how many calories you're burning during the exercise or during a workout, it's how much energy we use up that we can keep burning calories after the workout if your goal is obviously to lose weight and body fat here. So we got five calories on the bike, and then the last exercise is our sled push and drag. Now I will say, this combination from push-ups to echo bike to sled push and drag is a mother your butt. You're gonna learn a couple things about yourself. The first thing you're gonna learn is, do you have the desire to challenge yourself with this? It's okay to be scared, it's okay to maybe not want it at first, but the more you want it, the more you're gonna get out of this because it's easy to talk yourself out of these three. This is a challenging combination, but you will get better from doing these things. Uh, it just takes some time. Yes, you're gonna feel miserable, I guess, if that's the word. I mean, that's probably not the best choice of words, but yeah heart rate's gonna be up, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel like, I don't wanna do another set. Give yourself one, two, three minutes. We have plenty of time. Give yourself that time to rec recover. But remember also, think about what you're saying to yourself in between and while you're doing it. If you're telling yourself this sucks, I hate this, I don't like the way I feel, of course you're not gonna to wanna to go back for a second set. If you remind yourself that how I'm feeling now makes everything else easier. Doing this work makes things that are not as hard as this start to feel easier. And now that applies to your life outside of the gym, just keep that in mind and look at the other people working hard. And if you do have any of that doubt, tell somebody, tell a coach, tell a member, because our, you guys are awesome about supporting each other. And don't be afraid to remind a member that you see struggling a little bit with their confidence. Just say, hey, you're doing great, let's do another one. You got one more in you. I'm not trying to force you to do anything. You wanna keep the sled light, keep it light and move it fast. You wanna make it heavy and keep it a little slower and get more intentional, you can do that as well. What we care about is that whatever you're doing, the intention is I'm gonna make this challenging, whether it's to do it light but do it very fast or heavy and more intentional. The, in, the idea is that you have to be challenging yourself and that's how you're gonna get more out of this workout. I know they are tough. I also know that you are tougher and we can make any adjustments. I think a big thing that we see with people with these workouts, and we experience ourselves as well, is this uh, a bit of anticipating how hard it's gonna be, and that anticipation can lead us to not necessarily want to do it. So if that's what you're feeling sometimes, one, talk about it, two, start a little bit lighter, ease your way into it, but 
pay attention to the things you're telling yourself because if you're saying these negative things, if you're talking yourself out of it, if you're putting yourself down, that's what's going to hold you back. You are in control. We are here to support you, but I also know a lot of you, you are so much stronger than you give yourself credit for, so don't be afraid to challenge yourself with all these exercises, but especially when we get to that finisher, keep a positive mindset with it and you're gonna get more out of it. Okay, so um, went on a little diatribe at the end there, but hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions about any of the exercises, please reach out, ask the coaches, and uh, let's have an awesome month, everybody.